Welcome back to another episode of Come to Long World 2. This will be Operation Imprison in the Trial, where we will be a smash and grab mission with five people, hopefully all with relatively high movement, which is no doubt kind of necessary when you kind of just want to drop in, grab stuff, come out. And of course, we'll have a bunch of supplies, and of course, supplies are always very useful in the early game. We kind of get the ball rolling as well as some corpses and um, add ons, and you know, just stuff that is ultimately useful. And not to forget, levels as well because of course uh of course the stronger our soldiers get then i guess the kind of easier xcom starts to get but it's it's more like i won't be sort of just like pulling my hair or putting what little hair i have remaining out over my troops being not so not so useful so to speak so um smash and grab missions for those who don't know basically you jump in you are not in concealment and you basically there is it there is there's usually like a building with like five four to six supply crates basically it means that um and the the caveat of this particular mission is that each soldier can only hold one crate at a time or basically open one supply crate at a time so that's why you kind of need to bring you know around five five or more people but of course there are still admin troops as well so we will have to be careful when we approach it because basically basically it means we, we just need to be able to um oh. Okay, there's five, and then there's the evac. Okay, so that basically, ideally, everyone grabs a crate, and we get the ball rolling. So, um, e okay, so we just gotta hit straight that way. Evac is actually quite far, so uh, turns out alien response. The problem with that is that basically we need to dash forward. Getting it done. Uh, to begin with, so which which can be a little a little contentious. So is there actually one, two, three, four, five? Yeah. So one for everyone, enough for everyone, which is hopefully the good thing. So we're gonna have to dash forward first. Thankfully, uh, uh, after Hold our up. first turn, we don't have anyone to worry about, so we should be able to Stepping off. push forward while we can. And oh, you got four grenades. Double time. I feel like that maybe a bit overkill, but we will need those grenades, some. especially with Sapper. So um, one advantage I'm obviously taking is that did I hear a Mac? I heard a Mac. Absolutely. Well, we, we gotta keep pushing forward, so we sure do Let's move already. exactly just that. Now, obviously, we're on the cliff, so it means that as soon as we as soon as we look over, we're probably gonna we're probably gonna see some happen. So we shouldn't be should be careful not to get too close, but we still kind of want to get a good spread of on mission. It. So uh, we get here, sure thing. and then we get you shotgun, 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 shotgun. You an assault. Is there cover over here? Yes, there is. Excellent. Probably getting a little too close for comfort, but um, but, covering now. but I think we're not doing too badly for now because um, we're basically getting all these yellow moves. We ahead. don't. There is some. There is some potential interruption, so that's the part where we need to start needing to be careful. All right, so now I need to figure out who I want to move with first. I think the gunner's, gunner's the safest this time round, and then we definitely want to try and reveal anyone, so... Designated position. But it looks like that isn't happening this turn, so... Next up is the special... No, that's the technical, not the specialist. I don't... I can move the grenadier next, but I don't really want to do that, so... Just get you Tired up here. Around. Okay, so far so good. We still need to get a bit closer. Thankfully, thankfully, reinforcements are basically kind of just like advent dropping down, but you know, they'll probably like drop down one part of turn until you're dead. Seems so. doable. So we don't want to be too, uh, too egregious, too aggressive. Here I come! And then, uh, yeah, let's get over here. Both, both, both. And we stop. On Overwatch. Put everyone else on, on Overwatch. Overwatch. Oh, Overwatch. Guy covered. Shh. You hear that? Yes, we do. Alright, that's the set toy. So we know there's a set toy, which is a good thing at least. Um, so it looks like they're kind of like in the far away part of the building. It also looks like they're kind of just everyone else is inside. So I'm hoping we can kind of just dash down here. Stepping off. All right, we can apparently. Well, we shall do that then. Thank you very much. Got it. And then we'll kind of just like bum bum rush, bum Location rush inside, and hope and hopefully we just get some, I, I guess, some good leverage. Out. And then we have the grenadier. Would like you being cover, but Got let's it, have moving. you let's have you nice and close. Shut 
Listen. That means they're kind of like right. they're kind of like right inside. Well, it's go time. Advent troops spotted. Had to happen eventually. Alright, so we've got a trooper, we've got a second guy, we don't know where everybody else is, so that's something we need to be very, very careful of. Alright, so the Grenadier is... I feel like the Grenadier doesn't really need to walk in just yet, but we do need to block some stuff, so... Why don't we do just that? Not a problem. Get you behind some cover. Can only really see... the trooper, right? Yeah, you can only see the creeper, so we're gonna we're gonna try and blow this. Can we blow this wall? It would be great. Or we can just go for both. Nah, let's try and blow this wall. Get the sector as well. Got the trooper basically with three health. He can be basically killed in one shot. So we just need someone who is you know versatile. Okay, sector is still behind full cover, but oh, actually. Can be killed now with a flamethrower, actually, so which is kind of a pain. Here I come. But um, yeah, I suppose that's why I bought my technical score. So be lovely. So you can get both of them. So we just have to see who we can get with the rest. All right. Um, yeah, shotgun. Running gun is tempting. Can I get you up here? Oh, that means you can still see the creeper from down there. That's hilarious. I'm going. Can you nice and close? And then we'll see. 75? Yeah, that's pretty good. Pretty good. That's gonna hurt. Impressed yet? Now, um, the flame pole is gonna be a last resort because obviously like we don't wanna be. Well, he's got loot basically. We hate to destroy that loot, so. 20 oh, I uh, That was probably a little too hasty. Who's the last one? Alright, 39? Oh, yes please. Get it together. That's fine, take another shot. Oh well. Same for all it is. Bye bye loot. Can't be held. Alright. Well, let's see who's here. You hear that? Yes we do. They're gonna come here eventually, so I'm not too worried. The, the only problem, the, the problem now is that we have to make the first move. Which is the part I don't like. Which is the part I don't like at all. Um, so again, once again, who should move first? I think we'll have our gunner move in. Um, just try, now, we should get a, get a good idea where the boxes are. So there's one up here, there's one on the roof. And then, and then there's like one, two on the left there. So I want to start moving people towards the left, but. Moving. We need to take advantage of this full cover while we can. Alright, nothing so far. That's interesting. Well, not much to worry about, I suppose. Now, the problem is this part doesn't really have all that much cover, but the least I could do is get you behind full cover over Copy here. That. And we haven't activated anything just yet, which is both comforting and terrifying. Um, Alright, well... Can I get you right up onto the roof? No, I don't want to activate too many other mobs at the moment. Let's do this. But this should be safe enough. Sometimes you can be a little aggressive in how you come to things. Let's not go to the Heading out. Alright. I'm on it. Overwatch. Overwatch. Scanning. Oh, you're still back here. Alright, well, thankfully you get an automatic overwatch whenever you dash. Location confirmed. Because of ever eviction. There they are. Oh, it's a stun lancer. Oh, he's another mob as well. Isn't that lovely? This is actually gonna be a problem. They're quite spread out, so. I'll get him next time. Oh, we only activated them. That's interesting. Okay. Um I kinda just want to drop down and do a flame ball on them, so... Or well, I could do an area suppression. The thing is, I know there's like a mob there, so I really don't want to move this turn. 42? 42? Very tempting. It's still up. 
Was he the guy in Overwatch? Yes, he was. Okay, that makes things easier. Um, flamethrower? Probably a bit too... Hmm, who else can I use? I could use a grenade. Which one can he... No, they've got... None of them have loot, so... Grenade it is. On my way. That's assuming I can get the guy outside. Bad half cover? Okay, yep, I could deal with that. Now, what are you gonna do? Now, that's not cover over there, but the least I could do. Um, I'm just thinking. Oh, I can actually get you over here and open the crate as well, but I still need you to kill that guy. So, I can get you on the roof. Yeah, how about you get the roof? You get the roof thingy. So, you go here. Let's move like, I think I just activated another mob. At first, Advent deployed non-lethal stun units for crowd control and the occasional protest. We don't see a whole lot of that anymore. No. I'm actually surprised the flame can reach that far as well. But I'm not complaining. Kind of a good thing. Alright, now I I actually need someone to deal with them, so. You can actually go up there and shotgun one of them, which is kind of amazing. So, how can you do that? Second move. Um, yeah, corner should do. Ideally, you get the stun lancer as well. I mean, ideally, you, you can hit the stun lancer at the back. So I did not anticipate that one happening. That's one smart buy problem. I'll give you that. But it's still gonna be a problem. So how are we gonna do this? Well first let me worry about the start lane So 93? Yes please. That's pretty good. Not too shabby. Valuable. All right, and then now, what are you gonna do? You go for the gun or the officer, but oh, you can shoot the viper. Oh, you can shoot the trooper as well. You know what? Let's get you here. I'm moving on target location. Let's hope your aim isn't shit either. It is pretty shit. I'll give you that. But at least that viper's gonna die next turn, so it works for me. All right, who's remaining? Two people are remaining. Just a ranger with a. The problem is there's a guy over there that he's gonna move and he's gonna flank a bunch of us, so... Um, you've only got ever vigilant. That means you don't have cover and fire. So, I need to kill this guy. So... He gets a grenade. Should've used the flamethrower. Oh well. Um, okay. What's what's what should we do? I'm not worried about that officer. Though. Like basically, you like shoot at either one of them in half cover. It's that guy I'm worried about. So can I throw a flashbang? Oh, I can almost throw a flashbang. Looks like it won't reach him though. Oh no, I think there was a spot here. Oh yep, there. Oh he. Uh, there we go. Okay, Why now I don't have to worry. Okay, much better. I mean, he, he can still, like, shoot, and you'll still be flanked, you'll still get an aim bonus, but, like, I don't have to worry too much about um, him actually hitting than I would otherwise be. So, let's see how this turns out. Alrighty. Oh. Okay, okay. Not a problem so far. Oh, you picked the bad spot, friend. You picked the bad move as well. Alright, what are you gonna do? Could be worse. Alright, um... Can I flame blow both of them? No, that's not gonna happen. Alright, uh, you have got... You are not very useful right now, so... Yeah, it's a probably gunners, not gonna lie. Alright, let's get you... Over here. Whatever you say! 
gonna blast the officer in the face. I've got it. Ideally, kill him as well. What else, buddy? Alright, so I got PC as much as you have support. We're, we're gonna be selling that one. Um, now, this one. This one can take an explosive. The other one ideally shouldn't have an explosive, so. Uh, just trying to think about how would be best. Can I knife him? Orders confirmed. It On is in melee range, I should be able to knife him. There we go. walk over to the other the other side because you, you've got high movement so that actually kind of makes more sense so I'll get I'll, I'll just move you over here Time let's not let's not let, let's not review any new ground while we can avoid it so this guy this guy gets a brain grenade assuming I can make it hit him oh you want it you want this the hard way buddy I just don't want to move Probably shouldn't be this wasteful, but given it's extremely light, probably don't have too much to worry about either, so we'll see what happens. Alright, Ranger, 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 Ranger. What can you do? Uh, not much, so I'm just gonna get you moving towards one of the cash. Roger that! Oh. Probably should have. Incoming fire! Oh well. I suppose I got easy. I got off easy that time round. All right, let's get you over here. On it. And you know what? We'll grab some loot as well. Why? Absolutely. And we're going knifey knife. We're going knifey knife. On my way. Knifey knifey. Can you do a better job this time? Now we're doing. Hostiles need to get a closer quiet. look. Object secure. All right. It's all quiet now. Isn't that lovely? Okay, let's get you. I can't even move you up here. That isn't that amazing. All right, let's not. Let's go easy on the socket here. Uh, up here. Location confirmed. You can grab this one up there. So I'll I'll get you closer to the right. Yes, let's get like, you over here. Let's do this. Six turns, six turns is enough to run back, so I'm not too worried. So here it is. All right. Oh, you can move again. Isn't that nice? No reinforcements. Well, this will be a relatively quick, quick one. Sure so thing. Fast forward, coming in three, two, one. That one last straggler. Anyway, bye, Evan. It's been fun. All XCOM operatives are secure. Firebrand is returning to base. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. Well, that was a relatively successful smash and grab. I think we had basically had the advantage that um, that it was still kind of relatively easy for now. But of course, we shouldn't be too complacent because it will no doubt get much, much harder in the many, many missions to come. So. Um, not much to say. I think everyone did pretty well. There was definitely a few things that were kind of just like an oversight on my part and kind of just a bit kind of lazy on my end. So, um, we'll probably have to step that up a bit. <laughs> we'll definitely have to step that up a bit. So, um, so we'll just keep that in mind for next time. I feel like maybe I'm being a little too complacent, but, you know, I guess for now I can afford to be a little lenient on myself. Given that this is V-Twin mode, I mean, I imagine most people sort of just thinking, hey, you know, why don't you just jump straight into Commando or Legend mode? And I'm just like, you know what? I kind of just want to enjoy the game. Kind of just like, let's not be, how to say it, too hard An on myself. Impressive performance, Commander. 
Our troop skills are improving with every deployment. Indeed. So, I still don't know how to figure out what to do with gunners, but given that this one's got low aim, I think it's actually, um, and you've got 16 mobility. It would be funny if they if I get combatants on him, but, um, now what I'm thinking is, you do want additional point of base damage when using guns. I think if I make if I want to make him a utility gunner, that means that means I'm gonna get like demolition. I'm gonna get hail of bullets. If I get hail of bullets, that means center mass will help instead of grazing fire. So I'm gonna go for center mass. Hey, well, I mean, I I'm still kind of experimenting a little. I mean, but I've got a bit bit of that in, enough to kind of just like know what know what might work and what what might might not. So. Um, so we'll, we'll keep, keep going with our overwatch gunners, we'll get Napalm X for our technical and um, an assault. Uh, I think the lightning reflexes is definitely the go here, so on which we go. Illyrium crystals and 67 supplies, that's very, very nice. Alright, so we've got 87 supplies, which means that uh, we will get a few more when we clear the alien machinery, which is great. Uh, I don't think we've got any missions, so we should scan in this area while we can, and then hope for more missions and something good to happen. Excellent. Now, we can build a workshop or a power relay. We definitely need a power relay. Um, I guess the question is, is where do I want to build my workshop, which is, um, uh, I guess, I mean, I could build a workshop here, and then it would still effectively um, support um, you will still effectively support like a power relay and basically a resistance comm so and then so we'll do that so that's a power relay and then definitely want to clear some more angular machinery so we'll do that and then we'll carry let's get you back oh no begin yep. uh, so that's 30 days um I don't need the power relay so early so we'll, we'll, we'll let that go on to 10 days while we clear some more machinery. Then we'll cut it down to 15, they'll be much more efficient. Because we don't actually need the power un until we actually start building something else. And that building something else is not going to happen for a while. So, um, so I'm not too particularly worried, so we'll uh, keep on scanning. And then it looks like Team Epsilon, our uh, kind of just like our non-script team, will be extracting a VIP next mission. So. Thank you for watching, I will see you on the next video where we'll take on Operation Primal Line. We're gonna be rescuing the scientists. Yeah! More research! Alright, until then, have a good one.